In this video, we're gonna talk about how to be more socially confident and outgoing. I'm about to share with you the exact same process that I've used to overcome my shyness and be able to put myself out there. This stuff works, so make sure you stick around until the very end. My name is Mike Macapinlack. I help STEM professionals improve their social confidence. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every single week. As a shy immigrant, I found it really hard to interact with people. In fact, my social anxiety was so bad back in high school that I ate my lunch in a bathroom stall. Sick and tired of my situation, I decided to figure out how to be more socially confident and outgoing. That's when I realized that I can develop it just like any other skill. It's no different than learning a sport or playing an instrument. With the right plan and enough practice, anybody can build social confidence. That being said, here are 13 actionable tips that you can implement right away. All right, let's get into it. Tip number one is to show genuine curiosity. Remember, we like people who like us. If you wanna know how to be more socially confident and outgoing, then you need to get out of your head. Take the focus away from yourself and be curious about the person you're talking to. Ask yourself what's so interesting about them. Be present, put your phone away, and give whoever you're with your undivided attention. Actively listen by leaning forward, nodding, and mirroring their body language. By being interested in others, you'll make them feel special. As a result, they're going to be interested in you as well. Tip number two is to have a growth mindset. Like I said earlier, if you're a shy introvert, you too can be more confident and charismatic if you work at it. You just need to change the way you think. In this case, those with a growth mindset believe that abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. On the other hand, those with a fixed mindset assume that putting effort on something is a sign that they're not meant to do it. That being said, which mindset do you think you have? If you wanna figure out how to be more socially confident and outgoing, avoid having a fixed mindset at all costs. Make a conscious effort to choose a growth mindset instead. When you do, you'll be a lot more willing to put in the work. You'll see failure as a temporary setback, and you'll keep going until this whole thing finally makes sense. With that attitude and work ethic, it's only a matter of time until you figure out how to bond and build deeper friendships with others. Tip number three is to change your self-dialogue. Let me ask you a question. If you talk to others the way you speak to yourself right now, would you still have friends? If the answer is no, then you need to practice more self-compassion. If you're wondering how to be more socially confident and outgoing, change your self-dialogue. When you make a mistake, avoid speaking to yourself in a demeaning way. Remind yourself that you're doing the best you could with what you know. Remember, the relationship you have with yourself will dictate your relationship with others. That's why you should talk to yourself the same way you would to someone that you care about. Be your own cheerleader and encourage yourself more. Tip number four is to accept who you are. If you wanna know how to be more socially confident and outgoing, you need to embrace your quirks. Accept who you are and let others see the real you. The world will be a boring place if we're all trying to be like each other. Remember, nobody likes people who are fake. So stop pretending to be someone that you're not. It doesn't matter if you're into nerdy stuff like comic books, coding, or cosplay. Do your best to show your true self in every social situation. The key here is to talk about your passions, hobbies, and interests with enthusiasm. Not everybody will like you anyway, so don't be afraid to polarize people. Your goal should be to become the best version of yourself. And then find others who will like you for who you are. Tip number five is to look more approachable. You never get a second chance to make a great first impression. That's why you have to take your presentation seriously. Whether you like it or not, your looks really do matter. The last thing you want to do is to turn people off unintentionally. If you're wondering how to be more socially confident and outgoing, you have to look more approachable. Your clothes, body language, and overall demeanor are the first few things people see. That being said, make sure you dress well and also groom yourself. Have a more open body language by standing up straight, making eye contact, and smiling. Whatever you do, avoid crossing your arms or legs because you'll appear unfriendly. When you look approachable, more people are going to be inclined to talk to you. Tip number six is to think of your positive traits. If you wanna know how to be more socially confident and outgoing, you have to be mindful of what you focus on. Keep in mind that nobody is perfect and that we all have flaws, but it's up to you where you put your attention to. Remember, comparison is a thief of joy. If you wanna know how to like yourself more, focus on your positive traits as much as you can. To help you get started, grab a sheet of paper and make a list of what's good about you. In fact, this is one of the best confidence building exercises that I know of. You'll start to see yourself as a person of value and you won't be as intimidated interacting with others. The better you feel about yourself, the more likely you are to put yourself out there. Tip number seven is to find a social hobby. If you're a shy introvert, you don't need to go to bars and clubs to socialize if you don't want to. There are plenty of other options. In order to figure out how to be more socially confident and outgoing, you just need to do a bit of research. 
what you'll want to do is to add a social component to things that you already like to do. For example, instead of reading a book at home, go to a trendy coffee shop. See if there's a meetup group for a specific interest that you have. You can also sign up for a course to develop a new skill. That way, you can meet other like-minded individuals as well. Do you see how that works? As you can see, learning how to make friends as an introvert doesn't have to be complicated. This whole thing can be enjoyable if you become intentional about it. Tip number eight is to accept all valid invitations. If you identify as an introvert, then you prefer to spend time by yourself. Interacting with other people too much can feel draining for you. Now don't get me wrong, I think there's a time and place to stay in and be alone. But if you wanna know how to be more socially confident and outgoing, avoid isolating yourself for too long. Remember, nothing happens when you don't leave your house. As intimidating as it could be, keep an open mind and accept valid invitations from others. You don't even need to be out for too long. Even if you only show up for an hour or two, that's still better than nothing. At the end of the day, building meaningful relationships is still going to be a numbers game. The more you put yourself out there, the more opportunities you have to connect with others. Tip number nine is to know what to talk about. As a social skills coach, I've worked with a lot of engineers, programmers, and developers in the past. Because they sit in front of the computer all day, they don't really have a lot of opportunities to interact with people. They're paid based on their technical skills, not on how social they are. That's why most of them blank out mentally and struggle in conversation. If this sounds like you, then you need to prepare in advance. Take the time to come up with things to share with others. And if you think about it, most people usually discuss the same things over and over again anyway, right? That being said, write out some stories regarding your work, your upbringing, places you've been to, events you've attended, and your interests. And then practice telling them as much as you can. By doing so, you'll feel more relaxed in any situation because you know what to talk about. Tip number 10 is to improve incrementally. There's nothing more encouraging than seeing progress. If you're wondering how to be more socially confident and outgoing, lower the bar first. Set yourself up for success and get some quick wins right away. That's why you need to develop your social skills incrementally. When you're starting out, just focus on the easiest thing that you can do. For example, try to maintain eye contact and say hello to strangers at first. And then introduce yourself and make some small talk. Eventually, you can have longer conversations and do some witty banter as well. Do you see how that works? By starting small, you're a lot more likely to take action instead of procrastinating. When you interact with people consistently, you'll figure out how to be more social eventually. Tip number 11 is to embrace discomfort. Imagine going to the gym after having not worked out for a while. You expect that your body will be a bit sore at first, right? But that feeling goes away if you keep training consistently. If you want to know how to be more socially confident and outgoing, the exact same ideas apply. That's why you have to manage your expectations. Remind yourself that feeling discomfort is a good thing. That's a sign that you're growing and making progress. So instead of resisting it, you should embrace it. Tip number 12 is to not take rejection personally. Rejection hurts because it triggers the same part of our brain when we experience physical pain. That's why most of us avoid it at all costs. But if you're wondering how to be more socially confident and outgoing, you have to take more risk. You have to put yourself out there instead of playing it safe. Not to mention, you just can't take rejection personally. First of all, you have no idea what's going on in people's lives. If someone turns you down, it's safe to assume that it's not about you. They barely know who you are. They're probably just having a bad day and they took it out on you by accident. That's why you should only focus on what you can control. Whenever you make a move and take action, you should always give yourself a pat on the back. How people respond isn't up to you, so stop worrying about it. If you get rejected, just brush it off and move on. Tip number 13 is to seek expert guidance. From what I've noticed, most people who struggle socially just don't know any better. They just lack awareness and experience interacting with others. If you consider yourself socially inept, then definitely educate yourself on how to be more outgoing. You can read blog posts about it, watch videos, and listen to podcasts around this topic. And then try to implement whatever you're learning as much as you can. The only problem is doing things on your own can only get you so far. If you wanna get results much faster, then seek expert guidance. Remember, time is your most valuable asset because you can't make more of it. Once it's gone, you can't really get it back. Imagine all the opportunities to connect with people that you already missed out on. That's why learning how to be more socially confident and outgoing is one of the best skills you can ever develop. It'll help you thrive in your personal, romantic, and professional life. If you're shy and technically skilled and you wanna know how to approach and talk to anybody, remember to download your free social confidence cheat sheet. The link is in the description below. If you're tired of struggling socially and you want to learn more about our social skills coaching program, book your free consultation today and let's connect. The link is in the description below as well. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with someone who you know who could benefit from it. And now, let's turn it to you. Which one of these steps are you going to implement first? 
Are you going to work on changing your self-dialogue or on looking more approachable? Leave me a comment below and let me know. All right, that's it for me for now and I'll see you in the next video.